Hey Jen, heading up for a game of tennis? I sure am. The weather's great and I like to stay active. Well, and did you know that the tennis ball that you have in your hand can be used for more than just a game of tennis? Tell me about it. Well, you know what? As therapists, we have to find ways to help our patients when they go home feel better. You can take a tennis ball like this, go to the dollar store, you can get them there really inexpensively, put them inside a sock and tie a knot. This can be used as a trigger point tool. A trigger point is a hypersensitive area in the muscle that prevents blood flow and it causes pain and a decrease of range of motion. So here's the trick. Put it in here, find a sock, a clean sock that's lying around, and then you're going to turn Put it underneath your occiput, the base of your skull, lean back, roll around until you find that trigger point, do some deep diaphragmatic breathing, and before long, you're gonna release that trigger point. You can also use a single tennis ball for those spots that are on your shoulder blade after a long day at the computer or at your schoolwork, doing homework. This is a great thing to do. You put it on your shoulder blade on that tight spot, lean against a wall till you find that sore, sore area, and all of a sudden you'll feel some relief from the pressure. Now this is great for at home, but I must admit, if you come to the Wallace for Wellness Clinic, you'll see many of our therapists rolling up against the wall with their tennis ball when we can't get in for a treatment. So remember, pick up your tennis ball, go out for a game of tennis and stay active, but then make sure you have one of these to hang around so that you can help with those aches and pains afterwards. Exactly.